what is up? I, I know everybody's probably thinking, what in the heck did you do? Is this a different four-wheeler? No, it's not. It is my baby. Well, you might be asking, what are you doing? Well, I'm going to be painting the frame. I already kind of am painting the frame. I was getting a good coat of black, uh, matte black on there. Just some cheap rest of land paint. I've sanded it, all that kind of jazz. Uh, you may be asking, well, how about your nice control arms and yellow and this and all that, shocks and everything. Well, it's going to be getting new shocks. I'm doing bushings and uh, the ball joints, tie rod ends. Pretty much all new front end, not, in, not including wheel bearings. Rear end, it's staying the same, um, except the shock, changing that shock. Bumper's getting painted, the racks are getting redone again. <laughs> I've done the racks a lot, and if you're asking, yes, I'm putting the same wheels on it. Them bad boys. 27 inch tires on a 14 inch rim. ITPs all around. And one other cool thing I will show you in a minute, but I am redoing all my rock lights <coughs> and just lighting on this thing. I'm going to be redoing it all. I'm adding buttons with relays on them. And I'm not sure where the buttons are going to go. I think I have an idea. They're a little tiny. They're little tiny buttons. I'm thinking about right in those holes there. Not sure. It may hit the tank and it may not work. But anyways, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Oh, all my yellow stuff. Like this. And my hitch. It's all getting repowder coated yellow. Oh, there's some rock lights there. My um, muffler. I'm keeping it. I'm going to repolish it seat I'm keeping it. I need to get a different seat though. Well, not a different one, but I want to get it diamond stitched. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I was going to powder coat it, but I don't want to go through all the work and tearing the whole thing apart. So I'm just going to paint it. And I will go get the paint. Well, not the paint, but what's going in the paint. Here's the gold. The gold flake. Right there. It is by Eastwood. I'm not going to leave a link to them because not sponsored. You would find it yourself. <laughs> There's the silver. I think I'm going to do silver and gold. Leave comments in the comment section. Tell me what, if you want it to be gold, should I just tear it all apart, powder coat it? <laughs> Which that's not going to happen, but you can say if you want. You can say what you want to say. I don't really care. This is what I'm doing. There you go. Now, oh. Ooh, you didn't take all your wires off. Ooh, you didn't take all your brake lines. Guess what? I don't care. <laughs> as long as it's freaking... As long as it looks good, that's really all I care about. Shocks getting redone. Or not redone, but getting new shocks. I'm getting race-driven shocks. That's what they're called. They're about 200 bucks, something like that. They're adjustable. They're pretty nice. And there's ball joint bushings. <laughs> All the arms are going to get powder coated because I powder coat myself. I can powder coat that. Let me show you my oven. Here's the old powder coat and oven. Yep. The old Frigidaire. <laughs> yes. And there's the rasher. Let me show you my powder coat and equipment. Here's some powder coat and stuff. That's not the old things. Uh, some of my powder right here. Um, yellow, red, green. I think that's another gray. Yes. And that's super chrome. Clear. This is what that green looks like. That's John Deere green. That's like John Deere yellow. That's, kind of, that's actually the yellow. It's pretty much, I think it's John Deere yellow. That's this yellow right here. That's a John Deere mower deck. And that's the John Deere prismatic powders yellow. That matches pretty darn good. The only reason I'm repowder coating everything is I was doing this fast and there's light spots on it. Things like that. 
that's what I'm doing. This little update video. Let me go show you my wiring mess. All right, here's my wiring mess right here. Relays, the box controls everything. It's all in the, the rear hatch. And a big old wiring harness. There's the little tiny switches. They're like, they're, all, they're just as small as them little like plastic rivets. So hopefully it will fit in the spot for the plastic rivets. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. Two relays I got. I'm gonna get some whip lights for the back too. And then the other one controls the rock lights and the engine light. But yes. Maybe saying, oh, well, that's a waterproof thing. Why are you drilling holes in it? Don't worry, Jimmy. I got it. And just to show you this, it's upside down right now, but let me show you. That's the weird hatch. Whisper, uh, no it's not, it's a, I just got it not too long ago. Whisper Fusion Mach 1, what it is, whoops, my finger's in the way. Whisper Fusion Mach 1, great fun guy, point two. You want to see videos on that? Comment, comment one in there. You want to see videos on whatever. Be out of here comment what you want to see you want to see more model little 164 scale cars you want to see more cars like this or this that or do you want to see more four-wheeler stuff or do you want to see more car stuff i got a 1966 mustang 47 chevrolet fleet line a uh I can't remember what the year is. I think it's an 80 something. It's, I don't know. It's an Oldsmobile Cutlass. It's an 80 or 70 model. It's pretty cool. But they're all broke. <laughs> Sounds must be it runs. 2003 GMC Yukon. I'm going to be doing some stuff to that here soon. So maybe I'll put videos on that. Just comment what you want to see. And uh, I'll post it up. Peace. Excuse my dirty hands. Busted knuckles. Sign